Well, we, whenever you're ready. Go ahead, All right, now Bridget, you stuck. Go. Yeah. Go. Great weekend facing an inaugural uh, season team, uh, both here and on the road. Yeah. What did you think of the team's performance and how that's going to help them spur you for the, the next series coming up? Well, first off, I thought Augustana was was really good. They're in their first year of their program, and you can't tell that by the way they play. Um, we knew going into it that uh, it's an experienced team. They're they're new together, but they have some experienced players on their roster, and and uh, you know, a really good weekend for us to come away with two wins. And and again, I think you know, with the with the level of competition there, kept us in the mindset that we have to be good, and uh, in order to come away with good results there. So all in all, a really positive weekend for the group, and. And two big wings to uh, keep rolling here uh, into conf back into conference play. So, Coach, talk about some tough decisions with healthy, healthy players. I mean, I'm, I'm like, a, a, for example, Mike Michael Abgrall was outstanding Friday night, but then Charlie Lurie gets in there. It's great, great to see him get a chance. Is a, a lot of depth, and Dom Vidoli back there as a defenseman. At the, there, there's a lot of depth. Uh, how tough are the decisions? So the, come up with a, a lineup sometimes with so a lot of guys that could really contribute. Yeah, that probably takes the most bandwidth uh, as a head coach. Uh, you know, if you don't sleep at night, usually it's because of lineup decisions. And again, especially, uh, you know, you want to get guys in the game and play. Uh, so we thought from Friday to Saturday for, our, you know, kind of almost last non-conference series here that uh, we wanted to kind of get other guys, you know, keep other guys involved. And and Dom did a great job. Seth did a great job. Uh, Larry was exciting to get him to his first college game there and, and played well. So, again, everybody's deserving to play, right? They're working hard. They're doing everything. They're being great teammates, all those things that you want in guys um, from a day-to-day -day aspect of things. So nice to keep those guys involved here. And, and uh, it's a good thing when you got tough decisions. That means there's some good internal competition. Um, you know, you cooperate and compete at the highest level. Um, you know, that's what you want out of your program, and that pushes the guys that are playing to, to be good and to make sure they stay good and also, uh, you know, uh, get, get pushed up from underneath as well. So tough decisions, but, uh, but it's a good thing when your program has a lot of elite players in it. Uh, outside of the holiday tournament in Tempe, it's NCHC play the rest of the way. Is that kind of nice to know, you know, have the familiar opponents the rest of the way out? Yeah, it's good and bad. You know, anytime you know uh, it's all NCHE, usually that means tough competitions on the horizon, and and no different this weekend. We've got a Minnesota Loof team that. Uh, watching on video is a very good team. I think uh, their only losses this year are against North Dakota, St. Cloud, Minnesota, um, and so you just know how Cornell, you know, you know how good they are, right? They had some some early wins uh, in the season there, and then they just had a gauntlet of a schedule, and that's what this conference can do to you. Is uh, you know you can still be a really good team and and not have a record to show for it, and they're they're a prime example of that. So um, they'll be dialed and ready to go like they always are, and we'll have to be ready from. Uh, the drop of the puck here on Friday night. Obviously, scoring the first goal gives you a better shot at winning the game, but the team is 7-0 and when scoring the first goal this year. Is, hmm. What do you attribute to that this year? Yeah, again, I don't know. I didn't know that stat, so that's great. And, uh, yeah, you know, again, just starting on time, I think it's our focus level, right? We always challenge our players to be ready to go and do what you need to do to be ready to go, and, and that involves some personal responsibility, right? If you need to skate, if you need to, you know, do certain things before the game to make sure you're ready to go at 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock or wherever that game's about to start, uh, we really encourage our guys to learn to take responsibility for themselves to to do that, right? And we we got to prepare them during the week and make making sure they're ready to go with the, the strategy, the videos, the, the habits, all those good things that we need to do as a coach to prepare them. And then ultimately when the game time comes, it's uh, it's about them uh, being ready to go. So our, our group's done a tremendous job of that. I think it starts with our leadership group and um, them starting, the, you know, leading by example in that category. And and we got to make sure we continue that. Like you said, UMD's only lost to some high caliber teams this year. What, what have you seen out of them on, on film? Yeah, a typical, you know, UMD team, they're super competitive around the net, especially at home. And, and uh, you know, a couple of those are one goal games or empty net goals. And so, again, we're, you know, if you look up and down their lineup, they've got an impressive group of players there, right? They're lots of draft picks, lots of good players, lots of players we're familiar with. Um, so, again, it's just, uh, again, it's about us. we got to make sure we're prepared and, and we play to, to our standard there. Um, but definitely, I know just the preparation this week, not somebody we're, we're taking lightly. And, again, to me, they, they, they're not, uh, uh, the, their record is not indicative of who they are as a team. And it's just, uh, I think, more indicative of the conference and the schedule they've played so far. Had some success on the power play this last weekend. 
Uh, Duluth obviously has a top-ranked power play themselves. Mm -hmm. How do you think special teams are going to work into this weekend? Yeah, very important. I think every every weekend they're important. It's something we're continuing to get better at with our penalty kill and power play. And we had another good day to, today. And yeah, like you said, I think that fourth goal on Saturday in particular really helps put the game away. And, and that's ultimately what you need special teams at times to to help you get back in the game, to put away a game, a game away, to maybe give you that momentum you need. And uh, great to see uh, special teams doing that for us right now. Any injury updates? Anybody not traveling? Yep, Zach Ertle will still be out. Um, he's he's out, and uh, hopefully we can get him back for seeing Cloud. Um, but he he won't be able to travel with the team this weekend. Awesome. Okay, thanks, guys. Yep.